What is up guys, Ram Panel one here and welcome to another Yu-Gi-Oh! Pro Tips video. In this episode we are covering number 39 Utopia Roots and if you're not sure what Utopia Roots is, check the description below for another video where I talked about the card, uh, run down its effect, what it can do, so on and so forth. But for today's video I'm going to go a little bit more in depth if you will, run over its uh, effects in more detail and just different combos you can uh, do with Utopia Roots involving other cards. So the first way is summoning Utopia Roots. You want an easy go-to way to summon this card. If you're just uh, running it in your side deck, then you want to know what is the best way to get this out. And the best way, I think, to get it out is to use a nice little card called Evil Thorn. Now, Evil Thorn is a nice little card. It's uh, level 1, and its effect is you contribute this card to inflict 300 points of damage to your opponent and then special summon another two evil swarm monsters from your deck in face up attack position. Those monsters effects cannot be activated. So yeah, you're exploding one, dealing 300 points of damage to your opponent, summon another two, then you've got two level one monsters on your side of the field, and boom, just go straight into a Utopia Roach that way. It is probably the easiest way to get this card out, and uh, Evil Thorn is one of those cards that you can, um, you could probably just throw three of them into your deck anyway just replace them with three other cards and you're gonna get success from it i mean if you've got cards in your deck that for example return cards to the deck to pull pluses off then evil thorn will be perfect for that because you just send the evil thorns you don't need back to the deck because obviously you can't spend summon them from the graveyard or your hand using its own effect send them back to the deck summon either thorn tribute it minus 300 summon two Utopia Roots, very easy way and a very nice little combo to get Utopia Roots out. Now the best plays in Yu-Gi-Oh are the ones that rely on you 100% of the time because if you're relying on your opponent to make an attack or make a certain play, you may find yourself in some bad luck because if they're a smart enough player, then they'll realize that they need to do that to benefit you and they just simply won't. So to get the most out of Utopia Roots effect, the best thing to do is to summon a higher level XYZ monster. For example, number 40 gimmick puppet of strings. So summon number 40, attack on number 40 and then activate Utopia's effect. Utopia will negate the attack of your own monster. It was a 3000 attack monster, rank 8, but now your Utopia is a 4500 attack monster and it can uh, continue to attack itself. So you lose the first attack but then you get a permanent 4,500 attack monster and then if you do the same next turn you can get an 8,500 attack monster by that time you've got some beefy monsters on the field and uh, you'll be looking for a game around that time of the duel. Now this next combo we have here is pretty much identical to the last one we just covered but we're throwing another card into the middle of it and that card is Double or Nothing. Double or Nothing is a very good card because when an attack is negated that monster can then attack again, but this time its attack is doubled. So you do the exact same thing, attack with number 40, negate the attack, you've got a 4500 attack Utopia Roots. Activate double or nothing. Now Gimmick Puppet of Strings can attack one more time, but this time it has 6000 attack during the damage step. So you use that, destroy a monster, deal a, probably a hell of a lot of life points if it's in attack mode, and then you attack with uh, Utopia Roots. And again, like I said with the last combo, at this time, you are probably going to be attacking for games, so uh, just throwing double or nothing into that little combo makes it really viable. Now just so you know, each one of those combos, they don't just work with rank 8 monsters. Let's just say you're running some sort of Dragon Ruler deck and you can summon lots of rank 7 monsters. Well, it works exactly the same way, it just instead of uh, 4,000 attack gain, you're only gaining 3,500. But at the end of the day, that's still a lot. And then, like I said, same with anything. So if you're running mainly rank 4s, mainly rank 6s, mainly rank 3s, then you're still going to be gaining an uh, attack. It's just not going to be as much. Now, the next combo we have here involves a rank 5 monster by the name of Shark Fortress. Now, Shark Fortress is a good card because you can detach one XYZ material from it target one face up monster you control and now that card can make a second attack. So there are two things you can do. You can either target Utopia Roots, attack with Vortress, negate the attack and now Utopia Roots is at 3000 and can attack twice. Or you can use Shark Vortress's effect on itself 
attack twice, negate both of those attacks, and now Utopia Roots is sitting at a nice 5,500. So there are different combos you can do. You can do that first one, and the next turn do the one where uh, Shark Vortress uses effect to get Utopia Roots to attack twice, so now you've got a 5,500 attack monster that can attack twice. But most decks you come across nowadays, I mean, if you make Utopia Roots 3,000 attack and use Shark Vortress to make Roots able to attack twice, you'll be able to um, pretty much get over most monsters. It's, it's very situational. I mean, if they have like a BLS and you just uh, completely want to jump over it, then use Shark Vortress to attack twice, negate both attacks, 5,500, go into the BLS. If you're facing something with lower attacks, maybe Fire Kings, for example, then you can use Shark Vortress to make Utopia attack twice, Shark Watcher's attack, 3000 attack, attack Tice with 3000. And now the final combo I have for you guys today is uh, using the rank up and rank down magic cards with Utopia Roots and uh, different XYZ monsters to pull off some, uh, some pretty interesting combos. So first off you can uh, simply summon a Utopia, use a rank up magic, go into number C39 Utopia Ray 5, rank down that card go into utopia roots so now you've got a utopia roots on the field and it has a shitload of xyz material but maybe that's not the most viable i mean yeah it has a lot of material but uh, maybe there's not a lot of attacks to negate maybe that could be useful in certain situations if your opponent has like a field full of xyz monsters just negate them all boost your attack up really high and um then just go for game but probably the uh, the best way to utilize this is to use rank up magic on Utopia, go into Utopia Ray 5. Then use Utopia Ray 5's effect to um, to detach one of the materials, target one monster your opponent controls, destroy it, and then inflict damage to your opponent equal to its attack. So you're, you're going to deal quite a lot of damage depending on what you destroy. And then after you've done that, then use your rank down magic card and go into Utopia Roots. You still have the possibility of getting a... Um, a bunch of material you can still have up to three depending on what rank up magic card you use maybe you could have four maybe even five who knows but uh this nice little combo here gets instead of just going straight from utopia to utopia roots halfway through there you can go into utopia ray five destroy a monster and punch side of field do quite a lot of damage and then go into the utopia roots but anyway guys that is going to do it for this edition of pro tips for number 39 Utopia Roots. If you enjoyed the video, remember to give it a like, Ryan. Comment down below, let me know what you thought. And if you have any of the pro tips of your own for Utopia Roots, remember to leave those as well. And if you haven't done so already, hit that subscribe button to keep up to date with the number one source for Yu Gi Oh! news. Again, guys, it's Ryan Panel 1, and I'm out. Peace. Thank you for watching.